Part 1. White Clouds. Ethereal Moon. The Cause of Sorrow. Though most stars will still glimmer in the crisp winter air, the Blue Sea Star has gone back into hiding. Legend states that the goddess prays for peace from her home in the heavens. In the town of Garigmach, the anniversary of the monastery's completion nears, and the people's prayers intensify ahead of the Millennium Festival, still five years hence. Hello everyone, Space Oyster here, and welcome back to Fire Emblem Three Houses, the Ashen Blue Lion Wolves. In the last part, we took care of this situation in Remire Village and found out a, a weird dude ma named Solon, who was disguising himself as Thomas, or Tomas, was behind the whole thing. Eloise's birthday, we're gonna give that man flowers. We are planning a grand ball for this month. I'm sure the students will be most pleased. Yes, certainly. However, we must not devote all of our time to frivolity. We have a new mission for you. We have found evidence of someone sneaking into an unused chapel. Ah, uh, uh, was something stolen? No, there is nothing of value in that building. We do not yet know what the intruder's objectives are. This month, your class is tasked with guarding the chapel and investigating these intruders. With the recent state of affairs surrounding the Holy Church, we cannot afford to overlook any abnormality, no matter how seemingly trivial. I am ordering a seasoned knight to assist you to ensure the safety of the students. In times like these, I am afraid we must always expect the worst. Um, that's reassuring. Reporting for duty, Lady Rhea. I thought you two could use the time to bond. And to speak of important matters. <laughs> Appreciate the thought. Bear in mind that Geralt has a separate mission of his own. He will join you once he has finished it. It's true. I'll be away from the monastery for a while. But when I return, I'll come and watch you work. I'll be looking forward to it. Didn't you technically see me work in the last mission with Remire Village? I mean, you were there. Alright, anyway, let's go ahead and take some a certification. Oh, wait, now to do isn't quite qualified. So, uh, since trying to get it without the full qualification would require save skimming. Was... No, Solon, was it not? And the Flame Emperor. It is most clear that something has transpired, and it relates to you somehow. Or is the fault my own, and you're just caught inside the wave? Sothis, the goddess of this world. I bear her name. Hmm, how confusing. I feel as though my head has turned to mush. No, oh, yeah, don't worry about it. That'll pass. What was I talking about again? Oh, I don't remember. Anyway, <laughs> let's go ahead and get our monastery exploration under the w underway. So, running, 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 I'm running over here. <gasps> Bernie! Hi, Bernie. Terrible. A grim reminder of my sad reality. The other nobles will be fine, I'm sure. They've all been to events like this before. But me? I'm a noble, and I've never even been close to one of these things. Alright, do you have any missing items, Bernadetta? No, you do not. That's so uh, let's see here. Let's see here. I thought I was talking about something, and I... Oh, now where did that Ingrid run off to? The ball is soon, and she hadn't even put on any makeup. I was trying to help her out. Alright, well, let's see. Oh, this is mine! I imagine she'd look a bit prettier with the makeup on, but you shouldn't force these things, Mercedes. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see, let's see. We've got 
I forgot to plant flowers. How could I forget? Now, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I guess I should talk about the big thing that happens in this month. Um, it's that, um, uh, we'll actually be doing the, um, a uh, White Heron Cop, uh, which is a an event that will unlock the dancer class for one of your students. So, as for who to make your dancer, um, honestly, pretty much anyone can do it. It is customary that we host a competition of dance known as the White Heron Cup. The students are quite fond of this tradition. Each house must select a representative to compete. Their dance shall be judged by its beauty, grace, and technique. The student, who is deemed the winner, will be given the opportunity to train as a dancer, should they so please. It is a very precious thing, the gift of dance. I hope that you and your students will choose to participate. But I... May I ask a favor? Yeah, so, um, any student in your class can qualify to be a dancer, so, um, that'll pretty much be any of the, uh, any of the characters who join in one of the three houses by default, um, as well as, uh, Flane, um... I have looked into Tomas, but I just cannot make sense of this at all. From his behavior up until now, I never would have suspected that a man like him could turn on us. I have also discovered that his appearance has changed. It is almost as if he is not even human. What in the world is going on? Yeah, I don't know. It would have been nice if that stuff had been set up yes, earlier. This is mine. But, I mean, we can't expect writers to actually put effort into their work now, can we? Anyway. Um, yeah, so any of your anyone who is a student, so the anyone who starts in one of the three houses, Flane, and then the Ashen Wolves as well, any of them can be selected to be a dancer. Uh, the requirements to unlock the class are quite minimal. Um, you'll need at least um, eight charm. The Mark Monastery is said to have been completed during the Ethereal Moon. Why, 995 years ago, as a matter of fact. That's rather a long time ago, don't you think? Every year, a ball is held to celebrate the founding. And every 100 years, a very special celebration takes place. It's a grand festival involving all of Gerig Mark. It is thrilling to read of past festivals. And I'm rather excited to experience one for myself. Once in a lifetime, eh? The next one in five years will mark a millennium. Should be quite an event. Do you imagine you'll still be here teaching then? Wait, they only have the White Heron Cup every, once every five years? That's so sad. Uh, anyway, what else was there? Oh, right, yeah. Well, I guess I should go over who would be good. Uh, oh, right, right, right. The minimum requirements is at least eight charm, because you get a free chance to boost your charm by five. Ah, Tomas wouldn't betray the church. I don't believe it. I won't believe it. There's some people in the church who hate people like me who are from Almira, but Tomas was always real kind. But if he really was Lady Rhea's enemy, well, I'd defend her against anybody, no matter how kind they'd been in the past. Oh, that's sweet of you, Cyril. And a bit, um, I don't know weird of you. Whatever. Anyway. Uh, anyway, so, uh, yeah. Um, as long as a char character has at least eight charm, they can become a good dancer. Or a dancer. Any dancer is a good dancer, because dancer is just that good. And anyway... What's this about? The ball? Knights don't participate. It's an event for students, but... It does pique the interest of some knights in particular. Alois can't dance, but I hear he likes to watch. He volunteered to judge the White Heron Cup. Not that I care. Um, didn't Working he? hard, aren't you? I'll admit, I'm impressed. I can assist with any tasks or help with your students. On it. I'm available anytime I'm not on a mission with the knights. And here we have Shamir. I was a little tempted to not recruit her for this playthrough, same as I'm doing with uh, Kath Catherine and most of the other Knights of Seros, but I decided I'd go for it anyway, since there is a paralogue that is tied to recruiting Shamir, and I wanted to uh, be able to do it sooner rather than later. It's also tied to Aloise, but um, Shamir is available much earlier. Anyway, 
Um, as should be pretty obvious at this point, Shamir's base stats here are uh, when she's recruited at Chapter 6, so the base stats I've got right now are a bit higher than what she's got uh, displayed here. Regardless, Shamir is quite a good unit. As you can see, she has a pretty good start, uh, start in strength and dexterity, so she'll hit hard and she's not likely to miss. What makes Shamir really good, though, is uh, the combination of her personal ability and the fact that she starts as a sniper. Her personal ability, Survival Instinct, will give her a massive boost to her strength, magic, speed, and dexterity uh, for one turn whenever she defeats an enemy on the player's turn. So that can give her some good enemy phase utility if you set it up properly. Um, Given that she has low hit points, defense, and resistance, um, she is a bit frail, so it's not always going to be a good idea to put her on the front lines, but those, um, but the boost she gets from Survival Instinct can be quite handy. She's got an excellent start in bows with an A rank, and her C plus rank in lances makes, uh, gives her the base qualifications for the Master Class Bow Knight if you want to upgrade to it. Um, she'll need to get an A rank in horses though, but that shouldn't be too much of an issue. She won't be able to get to it until level 30, and that's going to be a ways off. So if you want her to go into Bow Knight, that is an option, but she's also perfectly serviceable as a sniper. Once she masters Sniper, she'll learn the Combat Art Hunter's Volley, which is pretty powerful. She doesn't really need too many other skills to excel, um, but it doesn't hurt to pick up um, Hit Plus 20 from Archer if you feel like it. She does have it unlocked as at base as well. Surprisingly, she does have a pretty extensive uh, Reason spell list, and she even learns Physic if you invest in her Faith but I wouldn't recommend trying her out as a mage. None of her spells have three range, and her weakness and faith would make it tough to get to physic, and on top of all that, she has a poor base magic stat and her growth is abysmal. Plus, it seems like such a waste to invest in skills other than archery when she starts with an A in bows. All in all, Shamir is quite useful. She's never let me down, and hopefully she won't let you down if you give her a shot. Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, I, I kept forgetting to recruit Shamir, even though I wanted to. Merriment. The librarian betrayed us. The Death Knight is back. Is this the time to be throwing a ball? <sighs> Whatever. What's on your mind? You look like you're about to say something. Are you considering me as our representative for the White Heron Cup? <laughs> Should I choose Felix? Um, no, I don't plan I on it. That's a relief. But, uh, yeah, so let's, um, so since the requirements are quite easy, um, anyone who has at least eight charm can become a dancer. Now, as for who to make a dancer, well, the easiest, well, the easiest way to put it is whoever your weakest combat unit is. Um, essentially, um, the dancer will, whoever you make your dancer will no longer be fighting or doing whatever they normally would, so... she had on the subject of the ball. What's this I hear about a dance competition? Physical activity isn't my forte, but dancing can be fun. If there's no one else you'd rather select, I'm happy to represent our class. Well, that was weird. No, the thing just skipped on me. Sure? I hope, I hope there are no other issues with the recording. Anyway, um, so yeah, if someone is uh, underperforming, um, just make them a dancer and then you're good. Um, but if you're still struggling beyond that, I do have a few... You know, Professor, I used to think I would be comfortable with all manner of experiments, so long as they provided usable results. But when I heard of Solon's work, well, I realized I'd not considered the moral and philosophical limits of what all manner of experiments might mean. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not great with blood. Even when I'm just thinking about it, I feel a bit ill now. But yeah, for um, some particular characters from each class that might be good dancers, uh, for the Blue Lions... Sounds like the church has been taking in orphans from Remire Village. They do a good thing every once in a while, I guess. I just hope none of those kids get locked away for stepping out of line. Hmm? You want me to join the White Heron Cup? Um, dancing's really not my thing. Neither are competitions, for that matter. You can probably guess what happens when I lose. 
Good call. We don't want to get the rumor mill churning. Yeah, some um, interesting choices for Dancer, or good choices, I should say, for Dancer from the Blue Lion House uh, would be Ash or Dimitri. Ah, uh, the ball. It reminds me of how I met my wife. Oh, you're married. I was married. at a village's harvest festival. There was a full moon bathing everything in its cool glow. Into a woman. She appeared out of nowhere, dancing gracefully in the moonlight. A lovely fairy. Oh, that's a wonderful we story. We soon fell in love and tied the knot. Now we have a daughter who's as bright and beautiful as a sunny morning. So... Whenever I see people dancing, I think of my wife, and my heart does a little waltz. <laughs> Any chance you could leave her for the right man? Uh, anyway, um, Ash is like most likely to be a blue, the dancer for the Blue Lions, simply because he's um, not very good at combat otherwise. Um, Ash is the Blue Lion that stands out as having the um, uh, worst overall combat. I hope you're up for a challenge. Um, Dimitri uh, can make a good dancer because it comes with the skill, or when you unlock the class, it gets the skill Sword of Void plus 20. I wonder if Remire Village will ever be the same again. How do you recover from such a terrible event? So many dead, so much destroyed. I can't see how the whole village doesn't just end up abandoned. Our class was also sent out to help put the village in order. But then... How did you know I lost this? Thank you for bringing it back to me. The ability Sword of Void plus 20 will stack with um, Dimitri's upgraded personal the skill. The tragedy in Remire Village will stop the surface dwellers from getting jazzed about a party. I get that they're probably seeking a distraction, but it still feels pretty damn selfish if you ask me. Um, we must move ahead despite the pain. Gotta keep things upbeat, I suppose. Sorry for grousing. It just got me down, is all. Things have quieted down, but nothing has been resolved. Better stay alert. So, did you need something? Don't tell me you want me in on that whole cup business. Good. I can't stand being in the spotlight. Even though people seem to enjoy it when I am. Hmm, I can't imagine why. Anyway, um, yeah, so... Uh, Sword Avoid plus 20 will stack with Dimitri's personal skill, as well as the Avoid bonus you get from the Sword Mastery skill. So, Dimitri can be quite difficult to hit if you um, make him a dancer and keep him equipped with a sword. Uh, let's see. I'm glad the Remire Village situation got sorted out, but it's not over yet, is it? And I can't believe old Tomas turned out to be an enemy. Who can you trust anymore? As for who not to make a dancer in the Blue Lions, well, uh, Dimitri usually has better things to do with his time, as does Felix and Sylvain and Mercedes and Annette. Um, Dudu gets particular mention because it is possible for him to be unavail- or not possible, he does become unavailable for a while. So, I wouldn't recommend using Dudu as a dancer if- It's true that Tomas was employed here under the recommendation of House Ordelia. That's all I know of the topic. I'd never even seen him prior to enrolling here. Even when he was supposedly in Ordelia territory, I never once saw him there. I'm still feeling bothered by all of this, but there's not much else I can say about it right now. Well, that's not suspicious. Anyway, I don't know why I ended that sentence that way. That was pretty much all I had to say about to do dancing. Um, I just wouldn't recommend it. Anyway. Ah, the long awaited ball. Finally, an opportunity to showcase my exquisite skills on the dance floor. These skills were ingrained in me when I was a boy. My hands and feet move on pure instinct. Anyway, as for um, any of the ashen, ashen wolves that would be good for dancing, um, I'd, it's probably going to be. Scary things have been happening lately. I hope that this month of all months is peaceful. The ball is coming up and everything. Although I'm not much of a dancer, actually. I'm sure you'd be fine. Anyway, um, Balthus oh, and Yuri. Thank you so much. I've been looking everywhere. Uh, they're likely to be have the worst combat out of the Ashen Wolves, so they're likely. It's almost time for the ball. Oh my, am I excited! This being a school, we don't have many chances to get dressy. 
yeah, the, those two are the most likely to be have the worst combat from the four Ashen Wolves. Um, Balthus in particular has pretty bad dexterity, so he'll have problems hitting things, and um, uh, his specializing in brawling leaves him limited to one range, so he's usually not particularly good. Yuri's probably the better fighter since he has a higher speed base and growth. Everyone's in such a festive mood. <laughs> I feel a bit out of my element here. I can't help but worry something might happen while we're all distracted. After all, our enemies are always plotting. Still, this air of levity is much more agreeable than the grim atmosphere of late. But Yuri can pull it off quite well as uh, quite well as well. Uh, let's see. And then Constance uh, probably gets a special mention because she learns the um, long-range spell, also called a Siege Tome, uh, Bolting. Um, what you can do when you have a dancer with a long-range uh, spell like that is you can have them run around with it equipped, and they'll provide support bonuses to all the enemies that are in their attack range, or to all allies hitting an enemy in their attack range, and they don't have to worry about the consequences or they don't have to worry about doing anything else and just provide support bonuses to allies in allies fighting enemies. Well, you know even better than I do. I hope this one will be more cheerful. This ball, though, I don't know. It's all new to me. But speaking of the ball, isn't there something happening just before it? The white heron something? It sounds like every class needs a representative. Have you picked ours yet? Not yet, but you'd be a good choice, Ash. <sighs> you should pick one of the nobles. They all have experience with this sort of thing. You're technically a noble, Ash. Anyway, um, by keeping the hey, bolting, by keeping bolting equipped and having her boogie her ass off, she'll be providing a support bonus to any allies fighting someone in her attack range. Uh, without any of the downsides of having a bolting, uh, constantly keeping bolting equipped, although she will be more frail. The ball will soon be upon us. Ah, I can feel my heart fluttering already. I, I have never danced in front of people before, not even once in all my life. I am very much looking forward to it. Have you heard yet about the White Heron Cup? If you have yet to choose a representative. Do you mind terribly if I volunteer? Um, yes, yes I do mind. Understood. Oh well. Either way, I am still so excited about the ball. Well, and as although that does actually bring me up to a good point, is that if you are torn on who to make dance, um, Flane does qualify for it at base without any um, any additional help. So if you don't know who you want to dance, then you can make uh, Flane your dancer, and she she, she can pull it off. Um, and she is the only uh, only one who isn't who doesn't join right at the start of the game, or can't join right at the start of the game, Pardon that me. can become a dancer. So it's, it's an alternate option if you'd prefer not to do anything with your main students. Uh, let's see. All right, and I was just going to say, I probably don't recommend making Constance your dancer because her high magic stat is worth putting to good use. So Tomas the librarian was a bad guy? But he always seemed so nice. Oh, come on, self. You're better than this. You promised you'd be on top of things this month. After all, we have the ball to look forward to, and the White Heron Cup before that. Oh, speaking of, have you chosen our house representative yet? If not, I'd like to volunteer. Aw, oh, I kind of want to say yes, but no. Aw, that's too bad. Oh, but if you reconsider, you know where to find me. Anyway, as for uh, other students from other classes to um, make, da uh, make a dancer... Someone entered the old chapel. I think the townsfolk used it for feasts and such in the past. With that whole Tomas business, you can't blame the church for being on edge. For the Beagles, I'd recommend Dorothea, Ferdinand, and Caspar. Um, <laughs> the ball is coming up soon. I am so excited. I can't wait to fill up on food while everyone's dancing. I even heard there'll be some prime cuts of meat. Oh, you're the primest cut of meat, my dude. Anyway, um... Uh, hey. Dorothea will learn a long-range spell herself. Uh, she gets meteor instead of bolting, but um, but she'll be able to do that uh, thing I was mentioning with Constance. Um, 
Uh, so uh, she can be a good dan- Dorothea can be a good dancer the too. Chapel was supposed to be off limits. It was at risk of collapse, so they didn't even post guards. It's not too strange. Does that surprise you? Meh. Garrig Mach has lots of places that are blocked off for one reason or another. That's true of the underground Holy Mausoleum as well as the Northern Woods. People call it the Sealed Forest, but as far as I can tell, it's nothing special. Just a forest. Hmm. Neat. Anyway. Uh, any of these yours? No, they're not. Anyway, um, Ferdinand gets a, a, a hesitant dancer recommendation for the same reason Dimitri did. Professor, nothing to report. Ah, other than the legend of the Goddess Tower, of course. Have you heard the students talking about it? On the last night of the ethereal moon, on the same night as the ball, if a man and a woman go to the Goddess Tower and make a wish, it's sure to come true. I have a wish. But I can't find anybody to make it with me. Um, is there someone I feel that way about? Um, well, none of these ladies. So, I'm gonna have to leave that as a no. No one comes to mind. Anyway, um, Ferdinand's personal skill gives him, um, plus 15 avoid when he's at full health. So, uh, that does stack with, um, Dancer's sword avoid plus 20 to make him quite dodgy. Um... Hmm, that came out wrong. Really brings back memories. <laughs> Had some wild times back when I was first enrolled here. Ladies used to line up around the block for a chance to dance with the debonair king of grappling. Huh, the white heron cup? That's new. Guessing you're looking to sign me up, yeah? Thanks, but no thanks, pal. Gotta save myself for the battlefield and all. You know how it goes. Don't forget that I'm the one who turned you down. I mean, just so we're clear and all. Wonder what happens if you say yes. That yeah, might be that's funny. Mine. No, really, I'm not lying this time. Sure, you're not. Anyway, um. A anyway, and then um, so Ferdinand can become quite dodgy, and then Caspar gets the recommendation because. Uh, Great work in Remire Village, Professor. Who would have ever guessed it was Tomas? Ah, uh, but no. Now isn't the time to get lost in gloomy thoughts. The ball is almost here, and the White Heron Cup dance contest. So, Professor, who will be representing our class? Hmm, not you, silly. No worries, really. I'd rather see a beautiful person dancing instead of some goof like me. But, um, Caspar gets the recommendation for the same reason um, Ash, Ash did. Um, he's just the weakest Mercedes beagle. Mercedes me in her room for hours earlier. She was slathering pounds of makeup onto my face, saying something or other about the ball. It really wore me out. Speaking of, I heard that there's going to be a dance competition. Have you sorted out who will represent our class, Professor? It's not me, is it? Please don't say it's me. Oh, thank goodness. I don't know the first thing about dancing. I'm sure you do fine. Um, anyway, yeah, Caspar is the beagle with the Most worst combat. I possibly do at a formal ball. I've no status, and I'm not much of a dancer. I think it would be best if I stayed put in abyss, far from view of anyone. I hear that there is to be an elegant dance contest known as the White Heron Cup. Though I have no more familiarity with dance than any young noblewoman would. Mm, nah. In other circumstances, I might have leapt at the opportunity, but your decision was a wise one. But Caspar, as in the Beagles, has the roughest start. I can't and... believe this. I'm so angry right now. First it's the Death Knight, and now Tomas, but neither of them are in custody. I can't stand the thought of such evil lurking in the world. We have to do something about this. I have to do something about this. And uh, Caspar also doesn't stand out as much after he's all trained up, so he can be an uh, he can be a dancer. It's not true that our siblings in arms could turn against us. So, however, I will continue investigating members of the church. To think that even someone as senior as Tomas would fall under suspicion. I know not how far to take my search. Yeah, even the students. Yes, a great many strange and terrible things have come to pass this year. I must not dismiss the possibility that someone among the students is behind it all. Yeah, 
But anyway, I that's that would be why I'd recommend Caspar, uh, just because he's possibly the worst at fighting for the Beagles. And then, um, as for the Golden Deer, I'm a little torn. It seems the dastards who set Ramire Village aflame have yet to be apprehended. Monsters. Trampling mercilessly over innocent lives. They deserve a gruesome end. I... I'm sorry. Please, ignore my troubled ramblings. Was something the matter? Something to do with the White Heron Cup? Professor, I beg of you. Please, do not choose me as our house representative. I am utterly serious. Kinda makes me want to choose you. Oh, thank the goddess. Please be sure to select someone with the confidence to win for us. I'll make sure of that. Anyway, uh, for the Golden Deer... Even though there is to be a ball, we still have a mission. It would be nice if this month passed by in peace. Incidentally, I have heard there will be a dance competition prior to the ball. Have you chosen a representative yet? I have not. Um, Someone must want to participate. You would do well to find that person. Uh, for the Golden Deer, I've heard um, Marianne is probably the best choice, um, given that her only utility otherwise dancing is healing. Dancing Fodlin is not the same as dancing from Bridget. The reason is, maybe that the music has many differences. In Bridget, dancing is different for each person. Our dancing has vigor and ferocity. There is no speech of technique for our dancing. Um, yeah, so, and Mar Marianne also has a boon in the writing skill. Ah, the ball. It reminds me of my first such event, back in the Imperial Capital. It was held by my father, the Prime Minister. I really showed off my dancing skills. Everyone was quite impressed with me. And, uh, yeah, as a, um... Uh, the writing skill is useful for dancers, because when you get uh, to a high enough rank in it, uh, it'll unlock the uh, ability Movement Plus One, which is very handy to have on a dancer, uh, since you want them to keep up with the rest of the army. Um, so Ma Marianne's writing boon, and the fact that healing is her only strength, is uh, would make her a very good choice for it. Did you need something? Oh, I figured. Alright, alright. I'll do it to make up for my negativity. Yeah, get get dancing, Mr. Negative. Um, yeah, I decided to go with Yuri because of the At least fetters. You do is practice some moves with me, since you insist on roping me into this, yeah? Ah, uh, yeah, let's dance. But yeah, you get this one opportunity to give your uh, chosen dancer plus five charm. So, and since they need a minimum of 13 in order to uh, win the Heron Cup, um, that's why eight is the benchmark to hit. Um, well, I guess I'm in for it. <laughs> anyway, what was I going on about again? Oh, right, yeah. Um, so, Mer so having a dancer that specializes in writing can be quite handy for the extra movement boost, and Marianne um, stands out for not for healing being her only talent. Um, but I'm tough to recommend her as a dancer because. Uh, uh, because she she is the better he, best healer in the Golden Deer by default. Oh, I hear you've chosen your representative for the White Heron Cup. In that case, a word of advice. On an average year, the winning contestant has about this much charm. Charm is important, wouldn't you agree? Who wants a partner with no charm? Not me. Do your best, make sure to put in the practice, and good luck. Well, thank you, Manuela. Um, anyway, uh, so I'm hesitant to recommend her if you're a first, it's your first time playing Three Houses, but uh, she can pull it off for you if you need, need her to. Um, and then, uh, let's see here. Oh, right, and the other one I was going to recommend from the Golden Deer was Ignatz, because he usually, um, in my experience, he tends to be the weakest in terms of uh, fighting, but I could just be unlucky with Ignatz. So, not necessarily... Um, hey, you, listen up. I've got something to report. Mr. Backup doesn't come by anymore, which is fine. Not incredibly rude or anything. Nope, just fine. Aw, that was so sad. But yeah, so that so those would be my recommendations for who to pick for the White Heron Cup. They're having a lot of fun up on the surface, aren't they? 
some kind of grand ball. Picture them all relaxing, having a drink, getting to dance with people they fancy. If I showed my face up there, Knights would have my head in a second. Oh, right, I forgot to recommend someone, though. Um, also from the Golden Deer, Hilda can be a pretty, uh, decent dancer. Uh, when I snuck into the monastery a while back, I saw a girl there the same age as me. She was crying. I couldn't believe it. How could you ever cry in a place like that, where there's always food on the table? But yeah, um, Hilda can be an interesting dancer because she, um... Uh, she actually learns bolting if you invest in her reason magic enough. So she can uh, do the same thing that Constance and Dorothea can, um, run around with the Siege Tome equipped to support their allies while boogie boogieing their da asses off. This is our last occasion to speak. I am ordered to be leaving. They are thinking I am the follower of an evil god. It is not so, but they are not understanding. So, yeah, that's what Hilda can do, but I wouldn't recommend her. Anyway, I'll call that an episode here. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.